Uh, our research um, encompasses several different areas. Uh, maybe that's why we're in this interdisciplinary science building. Uh, but the primary focus that I think would be of most interest um, is the project that uh, National Science Foundation has funded us for for 10 years looking at disordered or amorphous materials. So most people when they think of chemistry, you know, they think about learning about structure and bonding according to very rigorous rules. Uh, they think about maybe using x-ray diffraction as a way of studying these materials in terms of structure. Uh, we're very much interested in materials that are not well ordered. Uh, often we call them amorphous. Um, lately it's become fashionable to refer to them as soft matter in the sense that uh, many of these amorphous materials often have physical properties that uh, you know, make them soft, for example. Uh, obviously not all amorphous matter is soft, but that tends to be the area where we focus. Um, and so um, most of our work has focused on trying to devise experimental methods where we can say something about this kind of disordered structure and how it's useful in making materials. Uh, of course, you know, students are uh, really the fuel that drives the engine uh, in terms of our own research productivity. Um, and both from uh, a graduate and an undergraduate level. So, you know, standard research universities across the country are, are quite well known for having active uh, graduate research programs. Uh, so most of the students in my research group are pursuing a PhD in chemistry um, and you know, seeking to become experts in a certain area. And of course that's um, uh, critical to being able to stay competitive with other uh, research groups around the country. But one very nice thing that I, that I do appreciate about Oklahoma State, and, and indeed I have a point of reference because I was a professor for many years at another university before coming here, uh, OSU does a very good job at providing uh, opportunities for undergraduate researchers. Yes, most definitely, as I mentioned at the beginning, we, we do work in several different areas. I've, I've just described one of those. But by virtue of this common theme, this interest we have in, in sort of disordered materials, if you will, uh, already we have found uh, joint collaborators based on being in this building uh, that we would not have otherwise interacted with. So uh, Professor Walter Hoff, who's in uh, microbiology and I, uh, have a growing project that uh, seeks to utilize many of the methods we've developed to look at these amorphous synthetic materials and apply them to a class of proteins known as inherently disordered proteins. And so that's a specific example uh, of a collaboration that, that we're benefiting from now just by virtue of the fact that we're in this building.